For optimal cleavage of a restriction site occurring at the end of a DNA molecule, most often you need some number of nucleotides between your restriction site and the end of the DNA molecule. For example, if you're designing a primer containing a restriction site, we recommend, as a rule of thumb, adding six nucleotides between the recognition site and the five prime end of the primer. This provides plenty of DNA for the enzyme to bind, allowing for efficient cleavage. Make sure when adding those six bases that they're not a palindromic sequence and that they do not form primer dimers. We have experimentally tested virtually all of the restriction enzymes commercially available from NEV to determine the minimum number of nucleotides required for optimal cutting at the end of the DNA molecule. For additional information, please see the cleavage close to the ends of a DNA fragment chart available on the NEB website.